let's take a fast look at onion skin using this shot. So stopping on this frame, onion skin is only going to appear in Photoshop at first. It's on this layer here, and you can toggle it on and off in Photoshop. You can turn on onion skin in After Effects with this checkbox here. The first control is frame step. And this is, in frames, how far we look back and forth to generate a skin. Right now we're working at 12 frames a second. If we were in a 24 frames per second timeline, you wouldn't see the onion skin because we're looking one frames of the past with a frame step of one and there's nothing there. And one step to the future with a frame step of one and there's also nothing there. So you could set the frame step to two and look back two frames or look forward two frames. I'll set this back to 12 frames a second. So for past frames, I can set this to five and you can see the result. Then we have near opacity and far opacity. I'll set the far opacity to 10. And you can see that the last frame, the fifth frame out is at 10%. The closest is at 75%. You have the tint color and the tint amount, which when set to zero, will just show the original color of the drawing, which was black. Future frames follow the same logic. One thing to point out is that onion skin is not really designed to be a rendering tool. It's designed just to be for preview. If it's ever not showing up in the way it should, just go to Edit, Purge, All Memory and Disk Cache. And if there are any issues with it in Photoshop, make your changes and press Add Update Keyframe. 